Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Janie. It's my day off, so obviously I want to go book shopping. <laughs> because what else would I do with my day off? I feel like I haven't really gone book shopping, like went out for a full day intentionally book shopping in a very long time. I don't really have any books on my radar right now, maybe a few, but I would have to go check my non-physical TBR on my phone and I'm not really sure what I have on there anymore. I just, I need a day. I need a day to even browse around a bookstore. I don't even care what bookstore. I just need to browse or window shop just for the vibes because the vibes are just, they never fail. Not really looking for anything, but most likely I'll walk out with a book or two. But before we get started, I have a very exciting haul for you guys and everything I got today is from Princess Polly. So thank you Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. I've been obsessed with Princess Polly for years now and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. And recently I literally have been so in love with all of their new spring stuff coming out. They have so many different options, different styles, different vibes of clothing and there's literally such a variety I feel like you can find something for everyone. They also have free standard shipping in the US, which is three to six days for orders over $50. They also offer shop pay and after pay to all of their US customers, which is so amazing. I feel like I've been in such a slump recently and I feel like especially this time of year, the transition between winter and spring can be super tough, especially deciding what to wear. Some days are rainy and cold and other days can be hot and sunny. So all the pieces I got today are definitely some more spring styled pieces that I'm super excited for but there's also a couple cozier pieces in there that can help make the transition from winter to spring a little bit easier. So getting all those spring pieces, all those fun colors is so important to brighten up my days when it's rainy outside. I'm literally so obsessed with all the pieces that I got. I was really in need of a wardrobe revamp. I am so excited to show you guys. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces I got right now. It's this super cute little sweat set. But before we get started, you guys can use my code Janie20 for 20% off. And that will be linked in the description down below as well as all the sizes and styles that I'm going to be showing you guys today. So let's get started because I'm, I'm so excited. But like I said, what I'm wearing right now, this, the gray color is literally the perfect gray. It's so comfortable and so flattering with the pants and the tight, like, cropped top. I've just been loving sets recently. I feel like with sets, you can just throw it on and feel ten times more put together, and they're so simple and easy. And this one's so perfect for lounging around the house or even going out and about. I love the drawstring on the pants. It's so important for lounge pants because you can make them as loose or as tight as you want them to be. This might be what I end up wearing today and throwing over a little jacket. I haven't decided yet. It's just so comfy and so cute. I'm literally obsessed with it. Next thing I got is this adorable pink strapless tube top. I am in love with this color for spring, for summer. Just everything about it is so gorgeous. Bright bubblegum kind of pink and the waffle knit. It's so comfortable and with strapless I always worry about it like falling down but this is so secure. Like I feel like I could move around in it, like jump up and down and it wouldn't fall down. I feel like it's super important with tube tops, strapless tops to not be having to like pull it up all day long. I've been really into anything off the shoulder, strapless, like I feel like it's so flattering on your collarbone and it's so cute. Next we have this white cream off the shoulder top. Like I said, I've been obsessed with off the shoulder. It's so flattering. The quality of this top is so good. It's so soft and so comfortable. I feel like you could dress this up or down, which I absolutely love. I feel like it's perfect for those a little bit chillier days as we go into spring. I am so excited to wear this. Here we have another strapless top. This one is definitely out of my comfort zone. It's not something I would usually gravitate towards, but I saw it and I thought, why not? It's so cute. This is just perfect for like a little going out top. It has this like slits in the side, which I feel like gives you a little bit more freedom to wear it with low rise or high waisted jeans. Just that little detailing is everything. I love the fabric on it. It's super stretchy. <laughs> I was able to wear this without a bra, so it's not really see-through. So secure, stays on, I can move around all night in this. Another thing I'm so obsessed with, can someone do a tally for how many times I say obsessed? I'm sorry, I apologize. Is this leather bomber jacket? 
I love this so much. I'm not kidding when I say I've been searching for the perfect leather bomber jacket. And when I saw this, I knew it was the one. I was in between getting like this fun like green color and a different black leather bomber jacket, but I ultimately landed on the green because I don't own anything like this. And so it's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I feel like it's just so fun and it's so cute. Like, it's just a great way to spice up a more neutral outfit. And I might end up wearing this over the set I'm wearing. It's the perfect amount of oversize and not too big and baggy, but still looks super cute. But it doesn't feel like you're swimming in it. You could wear it with dresses or with sweatpants or with even biker shorts, oversized tee outfit in the summer. I love it so much. You can dress it up or down. I feel like it's so versatile and this like dark green color is not too flashy, but it just, it's different. And I'm so excited to style this and wear it out. Okay, the next thing I got are these jeans. Princess Poly Denim is some of my absolute favorites. They have such a variety and so many different styles and washes to choose from. I went with this like medium to dark wash and I love the raw hem at the bottom. I'm just obsessed with the wash of these. I'm a sucker for a high waist jean and these are so perfect and so flattering. I move around a lot at work and so my biggest pet peeve with jeans or pants is when they're super stiff and I feel like I'm like suffocated or stiff and I can't move around in them and these are so comfortable. I feel like I could wear them literally all day. Moving on to dresses. I got this perfect staple mini white dress. You need to have like a plain little mini dress like this in your wardrobe. It's just a must have. It's not see-through. The material's so thick. It's the perfect tightness and length. And I'm 5'6 for reference, just so you guys know. There's so many different ways you can style this. You can't go wrong with a classic white mini dress. And last but not least, I got this stunning yellow dress. I am not kidding. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I have been so into yellow recently and sundresses are just my favorite thing to wear during the spring and summer in the hotter months. The vibe is giving picnic, farmer's market, sunshine, happiness, getting some cute little flowers. The length is perfect, so comfortable. It has like the little grippies on the inside of like the top part so that you're not pulling it up all day long. Everything about this dress is literally to die for and I would wear it every single day if I could. It's so gorgeous. And that is everything I got from Princess Polly. Don't forget to use my code Janey20 for 20% off. I am so obsessed with everything that I got. I'm so excited to wear it for the upcoming spring season. I highly suggest checking out Princess Polly and all their new amazing styles that they have coming in for spring. And let me know what your favorite piece was in the comments below. Time to decide what I'm gonna wear today and then go book shopping. <laughs> Um, I don't know what these sunglasses are. There's also a man in the car next to me, so I'm scared and embarrassed. I hope he's not staring at me, but you know what? Who cares? It got sunny outside all of a sudden, and these were the only sunglasses that I could find in my car frantically searching, so... I can't tell if I look cool or really stupid. Either way, it's giving it's giving Matrix with with the leather jacket. Let's take these off. I totally forgot that it's a Saturday and it's gonna be really busy. And I pulled into the parking lot and immediately saw how many cars there were. So now I have lots of anxiety about going in there. One, I don't want to film because too many people. And two, I just don't like being around that many people. Period. I'm a big girl and I can do this and we're gonna get through this together. I don't really have anything I'm looking for specifically, kind of just browsing. Actually, one of the only books that I might get if I, f if I find it is One Day. I really want to watch the show, so I want to read the book before I watch the show or movie. I don't remember which one it is, but that's the only book that's kind of on my radar right now. We're gonna go in, we're gonna have ourselves a good time, and it's gonna be great.
How do you guys eat your string cheese? Because, red flag, I buy mine. Nor my hair right now, it's really windy outside. But I got my coffee, I'm probably gonna head over to Target because it's just in the same parking lot. I'm actually gonna end up meeting Dylan for lunch. I probably won't see you guys till a little bit later and then probably head back home. I'm back at home and I'm literally so exhausted. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Like I'm so, so tired. I think I just haven't gone out like by myself, gone shopping or anything like that in so long that my social battery is literally at five out of 100. It's 4.30 p.m. and I think it's time for bed. I got lunch with Dylan. It was super fun. We walked around some shops, got more coffee. Update on my outfit that I wore. I'm literally so obsessed. It was a little windy today and it kept me so warm, but also when the sun was out, I was not overheating, so it's a perfect spring jacket. I am so excited to wear the other stuff that I got. Hi you guys, it's the next day and I wanted to do a little bit more book shopping. Sorry if the last clip cut off a little bit abruptly. I just forgot to film what I got yesterday. This is today's fit. She's so cute. These loafers are actually also from Princess Polly. I got them a long time ago, but they're my favorite loafers. And I'm wearing the jeans I showed you guys yesterday with super cute off the shoulder top that I also showed you guys. It's so cute with the little slick back. Slay. But let me show you guys what I got yesterday. Yesterday I only got two books. I got One Day, which is what I was looking for. And then I got the paperback of Happy Place. And yes, I do already own the hardcover, but I'm actually gonna give the hardcover to a friend. And then I'm gonna keep the paperback for myself so that it can match all my other Emily Henry books on my bookshelf, cause all of my other ones are paperback. But those are the two books I got yesterday. Again, not really looking for anything in particular, but I am in the mood to buy some books. So we will probably be buying some books. We're gonna go shopping in one more store and then I'll check back in with you guys. We're back from book shopping. I got one book. I ended up getting Light Lark. I have seen this book everywhere and I'm sure all of you have as well. I've heard so many good things about it, yet for some reason I just never went to pick it up. But this cover is so gorgeous and just for some reason I thought it was time. I've done a really good job of not really reading anything about it, like plot wise. I'm gonna go into it pretty blind and I won't go in with any preconceived notions, so I'm trying to keep it that way. Please comment down below whether or not you liked it. It's, I just can't get over the cover, it's so gorgeous. I'm so excited to read this. It probably won't be for a while, and it's probably just gonna add to my ever-growing physical TBR cart, but that's fine. Who cares, what can you do? I think that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys for coming along with me, going book shopping. I love just bringing you guys along with me for these kinds of fun little vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.